This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. And of course, this is where we bring to you and analyze the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting co anchor to me, Ife Omai and Ife Olua Oshun. Okay, yeah, What's that's up? trending with Watoni. <laughs> <laughs> that was intentional. Nice. So I, I had a great interview with Watoni, but I don't know how. Um, you don't know how. <laughs> you don't know I, how. I was in Dubai would... many times. You did not realize. Uh, this where is coronavirus are there from? Is that Dubai? Dubai? I don't know how. Yeah, explain the hour. Populated, most populated continent. No, 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 no. It happens to the best of us mm. if you actually want to look at it because um, I'm not even going to lie. This is, this is a reputable company. I asked one of our reputable newscasters and he got only three out of the questions. Five how many questions. do you want to get? Because you are speaking reputable, reputable now. One, one. Which, Which one? one? The China, after uh, many tries. Fam, she did not get it. You basically <laughs> <laughs> handed it you basically to her. Okay. handed it to her. So mm -hmm. that's very different. Moving on though. Still, but Dubai though, Dubai. Yeah, we are going to Dubai. She says her <laughs> team is booking it. Okay, anyway, girl. moving on. Um Prince and Kid Wire left the house. Left the BJ. Left the lockdown season. Why didn't they give us Ozo? The show has entered. Uh, has entered. Ended as far as I am concerned. No, let it well, if if or once I don't know at this at this point I'm more confident about anyone. But once Lekon leaves, I know I'm done watching the show. But Lekon is still in this. Okay. So what, what, what content is Lekon giving you, though? I, I don't know. He's just being himself. What content are the rest of them giving me? I like Lekon. Uh, I like Kid and Erica were giving me content. Yes. So. I think the show ended after Erica left, though. Mm. There was no more content as mm. we used to. But have. Kid's eviction came as a shock to many. It didn't come as a shock to me. Many. Though. When I saw the people up, at first I it was between Kid and Dorothy. It was between for Kid me. and Dorothy for me. Then when Ibuka said, Dorothy, you're safe, mm. I just knew it was Kid. Kid. Was going. Yeah. yeah, because a lot of people, funny enough, people like Ozo, mm -hmm. everybody, okay. I don't want to say this because it might sound derogatory, but that's not what I mean mm. when I'm saying this. <laughs> but let's go back to you one day. Said it, Let, let's, it let's go back to one day Cole's album of one of the songs or they like. like. Mm. Yeah, you know, Ozo gives us our their vibe, like. Uh, mm. and, uh, but no, know. I, 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 I don't think, think that's family, the case. I think family. I think his family, family are really actually doing a lot, pushing this boy Without outside. His family, yeah, he would have been the one yeah. to go home. So yeah. kids' family are not interested. They're not in doing anything. This is pure votes from the fans. What you saw for kids. Yeah. But also there is extra push, she extra makes it, a constant extra. effort to explain his behavior. Yeah. To, and they're going outside, they're giving flyers, they're making banners. He's giving me that effect. Nobody's doing that for kids. Oh yeah, he's giving that effect vibe. No one is doing that for kids. I don't think they but wanted. But kid it. mentioned something about his team though, which I probably would have to go back. His team is not. His team is not for Big, is Big Brother Nigeria. His team that he had yeah. for actual work. Yeah. So it's very different. Either way, I feel like the person that really that really takes me aback is Dorothy. Because I don't see her fans on my timeline. Mm. I don't see anyone swelling like Agege bread for Dora. So every time I see that, she's not even in the bottom. Let me, let I'm me, wondering. Let me explain. It's doing it for her. Thank you. You know what? Yeah, but where are they? They're, 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 they're not saying it. She does not need to swell like Agege. She's already swollen. But why are they not coming out to Thank say you. it now? Do you know what I mean? Just, like, see, like, like Do you want us to use our mask? Actions are better than words. Mm. <laughs> they're quiet, Sha. Maybe, maybe they don't. Maybe they're not. I don't know why. That no, it's just like okay, so you don't quiet. talk too much. You just look at the screen and like, ah, oh sure, I mean, you can't go yet. You did well. You can't go yet. Case. Ah, so Mr. Macaroni will come in. Ah, because she be. <laughs> 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 well, anyway, I like I like what she does in the house. Anyway, she's she's been able to stay away from relationship, but also have like healthy friendship mm. with some and she's real. And people's faves mm. as well. So that can make them. I feel like she's a where They feel like oh, Dorothy is making our person happy. So let's just vote for her. The only of this the only content that babe gives yeah. me is catchphrases like "Ibuka and friends" or like um, "Wait, um, say it with your full chest." I know she's been giving a lot of catchphrases for that, mm. but I, I I feel like that babe is very mature and is consciously mm. um, um, controlling her narrative of how she wants to be described on, on the show. So for me, I don't really think I have watched Dorothy like fully mm. um, yeah. in comparison to other people. But Leko is still in the house. I'm glad about that. Mm. I'm, I'm, I don't know what else is going to happen this week. But for the yeah. first time, I loved what Dorothy wore uh, for the party. First like, time? That was beautiful. Yeah. I love what she wore for Personally, eviction for as me. well. For eviction. <laughs> for eviction nomination. 
Yeah, that's what she's not. Oh, you're talking I'm about talking about the party Saturday. outfits and all. Yeah, I'm talking I, about I loved the, what she wore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, it was toned down and she was pretty. I could see I her face. I didn't like the way she was showing the glamour. Mm -hmm. I also like, oh my gosh, Kid Kid Wire's response to um, what's it called? If he was ever attracted to what's Erica. it called? Erica. Nengi. Yes, Erica. because when Lucy, when Lucy went, I don't know where she went to, mm. that she said, have you seen Nengi? Blah, 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 blah. Mm. I was trying to ask her on the show where she was here. She was giving me, it's my opinion. You know what I mean? Anyway, it was nice to see that the main person really shut that down. That he's not even remotely attracted to Nengi. Not that there's a problem. I'm sure when your interview with Lucy comes out, it's gonna train too because uh, I don't know about that one. Either ways, I, I just like people that, that watch the life are already talking about it. Yeah, mm. I like that he was very clear about that. I also like that he didn't change. Like you were mentioning off this off the camera, that like he didn't yeah. change his words even with Erica. Mm -hmm. Like you think that he'll be more. Um, like move to want to give the fans something that yeah he loves or whatever i just said it's still the same thing that she she is special she's more than a friend and but he, he can't promise her, anything so i can't imagine that they're anything oh, together now so i don't uh, personally speaking I just, though i don't think i want them to date but uh, uh, I, and kid? no kid and why i just feel like uh, i don't know i just well, no, maybe no, you should start with friendship no fancy where it goes, goes no fancy you my girl mm -hmm. i just feel like kid can do better Kid, personally. Okay. You know what? You're judging I don't know kid where that's based on from, his looks. Okay. No, it's good a fine boy. I'm talking about. Er I feel like Erica in this house. She really felt my hand. I put a really high table. In the way, to what? the way she but fought, the way she did all that behavior. I was just like, mm, it's a big. You guys, she went. Um, Lacom was asked, and he was like. I just feel bad she's not here anymore. I'm V, our V, our local as <laughs> London V. <laughs> was like, oh, hey, yeah. I bet we're in control of our actions. <laughs> like, it's mm. very sarcastic. Anyway, good luck to them. And we hope to be having conversations with them as the week goes by, yeah? Right. Okay, <laughs> moving on to the next story. Daddy Freeze apologizes <laughs> for calling Oyedepo a bowed her dead file. That's what Boyedepo <coughs> said. So Excuse take a look me. at his apology oh, video. Apology. Attention has been drawn to a video I released circa two years, seven months ago, while addressing some pertinent issues that arose back then. I apologize for the delivery of my message and for any insult to Bishop David Oyedepo in that video, as I did not in any way intend to dishonor, disrespect, or disregard the person of the bishop. The perceived intention to the contrary is regretted. My methods of addressing doctrinal issues have long since evolved to a more scriptural and less confrontational approach. I was, and still am very passionate in my quest to address what I believe are unresolved doctrinal issues, however, from a more amiable perspective. I am of the firm belief that for a faith to thrive, we as Christian believers have to, as a collective, be open to absorbing new theological and doctrinal frames of reference as against the faith model subsumed in unchallengeable beliefs. This, I believe, can be achieved in love for the furtherance of our faith. So help me. Welcome back. Okay, before we dive into that conversation, let's go on a very quick break. And when we come back, we hear our opinions. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Now. <laughs> oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Make music and people are still by. Some say they look myself minimal. Are you? Mm. Mm. Music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back to Still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Before we went on that break, we saw the apology video from Daddy, Daddy Freeze. Freeze. Um, he fed Dio. 
Mm-hmm. Your name's Seiko. Mm. Okay. I just discovered that today, funny enough. That his name is Ifedo. Mm-hmm. That is my namesake. Oh, our namesake. Are you Ifedo? It's Ife. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. We are Ife Oluwa. And you are Ife Oluwa. I'm Ife Oluwa Lee. Ah, wow. Okay, see, uh, we didn't even know let's that. just you see? focus on this that the freeze matter. Mm-hmm. So, um, I don't know what he wants to achieve with this apology, but then I always say that when the person realizes they've done something wrong and they want to apologize, then yes, it's welcomed. Apologize. And I like that he said he his aim is not to insult people or to bring anybody down or to well, say, you know, quite an insult, yeah, but. his aim is to dissect the scripture. That's me paraphrasing now and make sure that people understand it from every angle possible and all that. So I think that's fair enough. So would we be expecting an apology from um, what's his name now? Ibi Yomi or what? But I don't know if you guys remember when um, in the Bible where some kids are laughing at a bold man mm. and what happened to them. So I'm going to get scripture. Didn't the ground right? open or something? Or something really drastic? I, I really can't remember details. Mm. I was the best so student the at the for a lot the of ground years. Has Your competition must have been really weak then. No, 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 no. <laughs> Trust me, the devil knows the scriptures. Thank you. Back to what I was saying. So, um... I don't know exactly what happens in that story. So being a man of God, I think you should pay more attention to details, especially the scripture which you are hiding behind or saying things behind, right? Mm-hmm. So if you know what happened to the people who laughed at a man for being bold in the Bible, then I think that's a really derogatory. So when you're coming now to tell me now that that was not the intention, I feel like then you're probably not doing your research as a man of God. So every time you need to get on the pulpit, you're probably going to have to that study. That is not a man uh, of God. Uh-uh. He is. He has decided to come out to say he's a man of God. He's the now. pastor. The, the pastor, pastor of what? Of, um, he said he's the leader of free disciple. He has never come out to say he's using the scripture. Okay, but he's using the scriptures. Don't right? you use the scripture. Did you just talk about the scripture right now? Does that mean you're a pastor? I, I used it as an example. Maybe not. I used it as an example. I didn't use it because um, I have followers who follow me based on my religious belief. Mm-hmm. This is somebody that has a, fo- a lot of followers he does. based Pastor on not. His, he has a, a religious a, a belief. Leadership so I think role. it should be well grounded about mm. the scriptural facts before he starts using certain words for people. But like you said, it's a welcome <laughs> development for you to apologize about what you said. But now they dug this out from 2017 so if they didn't dig this out you didn't think it was right for you or you forgot about some of your because the moment you turn a new leaf is about going back there's even something about asking for forgiveness of what especially when you know you've wronged people so unless you're telling me completely now that you don't know that calling somebody a ball they did something 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 was not a sin you should have apologized so basically we're talking about body shaming now yeah (laughs) Head shaming, actually. No, it's still body shaming. Yeah, <laughs> I know. So, um, is it does the cost that comes with that Bible verse you're talking about only happen when that, you body shame a man of God? No, and was that even a man? No. I, I can't remember. Either way, see, the point clearly. isn't. I don't even think the scripture needs to put it in there to say that if you call someone a bald headed person, this is the consequence before you start to. Th- say that calling someone a bald-headed person in general is a, is a bad thing. Mm-hmm. I don't really need to do that because mm. as long as your words are built to hurt people. My only issue, and I feel like that's what Freeze is known for, so I feel like I have an issue with his entire representation, is that he talks too much. People who talk too much know, you know that it is hard for you to keep up with yourself. And that's why it's always wise to fem when the time <laughs> is needed. If you talk too much, you will say things that you're not meant to say because you are talking faster than you are thinking. And I feel like that's Dr. Freeze's problem. This apology for me... Dr. Freeze. <laughs> Pastor <laughs> Daddy, Dr. Freeze. Mr. Daddy Freeze. And this apology for me, because I know he's not going to stop talking too much, is to me is a waste because I know, give it time, he will find somebody else to insult. I've seen him many times, even when he is right use talk too much and say things that are hurtful to people and i i get that he's passionate about freeing the sheep like his his thing is called and he's passionate about 
about calling out people he feels are, you know, wo um, what's it called, leading people astray with the scripture and blah, blah, blah. And I know that that can get you really, you know, raveled up and you want to say things. But the point still remains that Dr. Freeze isn't someone that uses his mouth very cautiously. So this is not something that for me that I think it was even beneath him. I, I, when he said that wasn't his intention, I still don't buy that. I think your intention is not... You, he doesn't have that intention of not offending people. He's very okay with doing that. And he's done it over and over and over again. And so this apology for me is flimsy because I know he's going to do it again. But um, to each man is on whatever. Well, like I said, like I like that done, he apologized. And I'm also hoping done, that the, um, the pastor in question will come out to apologize and set things straight because he said a lot of things that doesn't just hurt Daddy Freeze, but a lot of people that will identify with what he has said. So maybe this is especially the time for when him he to spoke just... about broadcasters, like it's not a noble profession <laughs> to be a broadcaster. <laughs> like we're sitting here right now. Or isn't the half casting? And I mean, he said a lot of things <clears throat> as well. So, so maybe is... he should just make a one minute video as well <clears throat> and just apologize to everyone. Well, he's not even apologizing have... to Ibiomi. Yeah, yeah he, 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 he was not attacking him for insulting him. himself. He was True. attacking him for insulting Oyedepo, right? right? So, uh, but he wasn't attacking him for insulting Oyedepo in the two, this 2007 video that Dr. Freeze is apologizing for. But we don't know the particular video. No, we people do. now this dug one, this, this up. One, like, yeah, so this, you one, this one is ages ago. This one was 2017. 2017. He even said it now, Dr. Freeze, when I made me know what. Uh, I keep calling him Dr. Freeze. Daddy Freeze was the one that I said it's seven, 2007, seven months ago, and some something days ago video. So they yeah. dug it up for that he's not even apologizing for what made them trend how many weeks ago so did you see the video that made them trend that, no, that pastor B. Yomi was responding no to? i did not did you see the video the one the, the main the one that B. Yomi was, was referring to. to no 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 i'm kidding the, the one, oh, the one that the phrase was referring to the no. 2017 the video. one no. she's saying there is another one yeah. that pastor B. Yomi was talking about and what, i didn't see that one i don't know about that no one. no yeah. i did see that one okay i did see that and one. do you think I, there's I something the he one. should apologize to on that one no, it's just, it's not the first time that Daddy Freeze has been coming against Oedipo. Mm -hmm. He doesn't really agree with Oedipo on a lot yeah. of things, mm -hmm. so they've been having back and forth. So, he's saying that this is the last time you'll be calling the, uh, Pastor Oedipo because he has been calling him a lot in his oh, videos. Right. He's one of those so pastors. So, accumulated anger. Yeah. Okay. All right, moving on to the next story. Bonaboy, Davido, Whiskey, Yemi Alade, Tiwa Savage, and others get nominated in this year's African Music Magazine Awards. That's AFRIMA. The organizers of the Continental Awards made this public on its official website. And according to the organizers, the event, which is slated to hold on the 15th of November 2020, will be done virtually, observing the coronavirus disease protocols. Other Nigerian artists nominated for different categories include Adekule Good, Rema, Fireboy, Simi, and Tenny. And of course, Omale and Oslid were not left out in the Best Newcomer category, while the multi-award um, winning gospel singer Sinach, alongside Tim Godfrey and Messi Chimo, made the list of Best Gospel category. For the artist of the year, though, for Whiskey Down, the chances are very slim that he would win this, considering mm. the other people that are on that. David O is there. Um, what's it called? Bonner Boy is there. So I have a feeling this will go to Bonner Boy again. Mm. I just have that strong feeling. But it's good, at least. Now, maybe the people have, that have been saying what has Whiskey he hasn't been nominated. At least we've got a nomination. Are you people okay now? <laughs> <laughs> what was he nominated for, though? best artist of the year mm, like in your own i mean you are his stand you are his fan in looking at everything that's happened in 2020 what was he nominated for like what made him what get, made him get, get on that, that nomination list? Um, maybe the songs is dropped from which one from major <laughs> lagos he has not dropped the album but he's dropped you know like some singles smile, mm. smile is there yeah. and funny enough he may even win it because the the type of songs he has mm. and the collaborations are actually quite big so it may the actually music that get carry it. placard. Hmm? Well, go ahead. <laughs> for me, the category was the upcoming new people. Whatever. Mm -hmm. I, I was kind of surprised that Joe Boy wasn't in there because, as of late, when it comes to awards and numbers and stuff between Fireboy and Joe, when I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm perpetrating this um, narrative or comparison. But every time it seems like Joe Boy was always doing better, which I sort of disagree with. So for, when I saw Fireboy's name and I didn't see Joe Boy's, that was the first time I'm like, okay, what's happening? And um, to, in regards to that, hmm? 
So back what you just said, I'll just say, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> but I remember on Twitter when there was an argument between them that uh, after Apollo was dropped, that why is, why is Joe Boy a two minutes guy? Because his songs are not very long and blah, blah, blah. Either way, I, I see Fireboy, both of them are really talented, but I'm okay. I'm very happy with the fact that Fireboy is on this list and Joe Boy isn't. So mm. I just want to make that clear. But I, 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 I suspect that it might go to Omali. I suspect. I'm not sure. So I'm looking it forward will to. go to Omar. You think so? I thought it was. I mean, if it goes to Fireboy, it will be because he's putting more work than, than um, Omalay. Um, this well, year. songs are. I feel like I've are they on the same category? Yeah. Yeah. Best newcomer. Yeah. Mm. Okay, but Fireboy also appears in other categories. Yes. As well. yeah. So yeah. that's the. So they may yeah, give it to yeah, Omalay and then give to Fireboy Fire somewhere, somewhere else. Somewhere yeah. else. But Omalay deserves the award yeah. as well. I feel like everyone who's doing really well this year, I, I saw their names on that list, except mm -hmm. from Copy actually. Mm. I do not see really Copy. Yeah. Copy's album is. She's doing well, but Copy's album is doing really well. Yeah, I like the, her songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. If you can decide okay. for that. <laughs> Moving on. Um, actor and politician Desmond Elliott is under fire for justifying Godfatherism. In an interview, he, admit, he admitted that he is a product of Godfatherism and that loyalty is important. And of course, he was responding to um, Governor Obaseki's um, stance on. Godfatherism. Okay, so is the ideology Godfatherism acceptable? No. Should it be a doctrine or a concept that should be promoted? No. What's the ideology? Why not? Godfatherism. What's the ideology that shouldn't be accepted? The fact that before you get into politics, you must have people that are backing you and all of that, you know. But in reality, now this is where I'm going to come from. It is a battle between reality and theory idealism mm. do you understand mm -hmm. now in reality we know we need godfathers right mm. we would not have the obamas of this world without godfathers the clinton were basically his godfather, godfather. Uh, we would not have a lot of great politicians who have done what's really your well issue with this why do you world. think it shouldn't be reality what's the problem with no having no godfathers? it's it's an ideology in ideology in political ideology mm. right it isn't an acceptable term right. now we we have the likes of donald trump who did not need a godfather yeah. for them to get into power mm -hmm. so at the same time we need to start looking at people getting into power based on their uh, merits and not because some people do them. We need people that outsiders that can actually rule. Yeah, but that doesn't mean that if you do have a godfather, then there's something wrong. No, what, like what is wrong? What is wrong with having a godfather is that most of the time, the godfathers dictate the terms. We are putting you there, but in return, uh, they will give you a list of commissioners. We saw that happen in the Trump, movie. Because Trump doesn't have a godfather doesn't mean that he doesn't have somebody that is also. Um, story because I, I have a lot to say as well, but we need to go. I don't know. Do you want to wrap up? Quickly okay, well, e either ways, I felt like the backlash was a bit too harsh, personally. Um, he didn't say, maybe the, the Lagosian tag thing that he was saying that Edo is not like Lagos, he had a problem with that. Maybe, yeah, that was a bit extreme. But people are coming too hard for something that's not necessarily the worst thing in the world. I like to appreciate my founders and people that came before me. Mm -hmm. There's wisdom, there's wisdom there, and there's um, a lot of, and there's nothing wrong with leaning on people who have experience. Maybe if that's not done to corrupt the system, blah, 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 then yeah. But either ways, I felt like it was a bit too hard. At the end of the yeah, day, too. And I, I feel also, like there's nothing wrong with Godfatherism. I also it just want to depends on the people I also involved want to, and what their interest is. Yeah. Real quick, well. I also need to put or it out there that Desmond Elliott is not actually a product of Tinubu. He's a product of Tinubu's Godfather to his Obasanjo because it was Obasanjo who placed him there. I have and a credible source this, to say okay. this. All right. Thank you for watching. And please send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906005719 or Twitter to Plus TV Africa. Also send in um, your opinions or just visit our YouTube channel to watch all our conversations at Plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors Ife Omai and Ife Oluo Shonkeye and the entire production team. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin. Stay safe.